What's up, guys? We're back on the water. Where are we at, Marcus? Can I say? Yeah, you're allowed to say. Crab Orchard. Crab Orchard. We're going to put the live scope to work. We're going to find oh, yeah. some big fish. No small fish, big fish. Got to go in the boat. Where are we going to be? to do that three pound. He's going to hold me to it. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to be single pulling? We're going to spider rigging? What do you think? Uh, probably single pulling. Probably, yeah. probably single pulling. So, brush piles, all that stuff. So, stay tuned. Subscribe. We're about to put some good fish in the boat. All right, folks, welcome back. Me and Marcus just had a last second to decide, hey, let's go to Crab Orchard and have some fun. Our goal today is to find big fish. And we have some fun with the double jig setup and those type of things, but we definitely put on, put in the boat, big fish. And stay to the end because I'll tell you what, we learn a lot about Crab Orchard at this moment and find success. And so that's the important thing is, what are we doing to try to find just big fish, tournament style fish, size fish. And uh, please do me a favor, if you like this type of content, subscribe, that helps me out a bunch. And we are, in a hot day, middle of the day, just have a great time, and uh, thanks for watching. Flipping time. So what we're doing today, let me make sure this guy is gonna be tilted away. All right, so Marcus is gonna be sporting the double rig setup. He'll show you that a little later in the episode. I'm gonna sport the single air jig set up and we're gonna see who's catching it doesn't really tell you that much but I want to see how many fish hit his second jig the one that's above the bottom jig that's what I want to find out it's gonna be more than what hits his hair jig Eater fish. Let me turn this off here. All right. So, top jig. This is a red and white jig. And this is probably an 11 incher. Yeah, 10 and a half, 11 inches. That's a good start to the day. That's like first drop. So, we see a ton of fish on this. A ton of fish on this uh, stake bed. And a lot of good marks, too, which is really nice to see. All right, I'm switching up, whatchamacallit, orange head, 32nd ounce. I like the action of the paddle tail, I really do. So when we first came out the crab orchard, we obviously went straight to the steak beds and they were jacked full of fish, but unfortunately just a lot of smaller fish. So strategic number one is going to go what you know, which is definitely the steak beds on crab orchard. I think they provide a lot of great fish, but unfortunately, sometimes they're not too big. Pound fishing. What a beaut. So the key is we're having fun, but we're still in search of the big fish and we're staying on steak beds. We go to a bunch of steak beds. And let me tell you, just a ton of fish. What Mark starts to Marcus starts to realize is that the double jig is not what he wants to have on his rod when he's fishing these steak beds. You lose two, not just one, and you don't have control over which one is hung up. So he identifies this pretty quick in the day, and you'll see here shortly, he switches up. Now we do catch some decent fish, 11s, maybe a 12 inch fish, 11 to 12, but not many of them, I'll tell you, this is just one of them. Good eater sized fish for sure. Definitely skinnier on crab orchard than other lakes in the area, but 
That right there was a good fish. Now we were showing big marks. We know there are the big fish there, but they definitely weren't active. We were putting it right on their nose. So we needed to change up. We were gonna still check some other, some other steak beds, but at the end of the day, we had to change something up to make the day go better in the direction we needed it to, which was All big right, so fish, not quantity. Change quality. the myth. Now we have caught a lot of small fish, but change the myth that it's only small fish at Crab Orchard. You can go out to these fish attractors and catch a lot of good quality fish. This is probably an 11 inch fish, a good eating size fish. Um, today we got uh, 90 degree weather. What's the, what's the water temperature? So 79 degree water temperature. So fish are still active. These fish attractors are jacked. This guy wanted this. This fish. Marcus is on a, uh, a meat run for a fish fry for his daughter's first communion. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Layla. It's gonna be awesome. Still, man. Still, still got merchandise. Three pound fishing. Three pound fishing at uh, just three pound fishing.com. Check it out. Hats, all this cool stuff. Having a ball this summer. Now we're a little bit past the craziness that's been going on in the world. But fishing has never stopped. I think I've got something down there with a pink head, red head. Trying all different kinds of baits today. Hair jig, jinko fishing, you name it. Uh, mixing it up. Calling, catching a ton of fish, not showing every fish for sure, just a couple. Only if they're reasonable, because there are a lot of small fish here, but we're seeing so many big fish, it's ridiculous. We are fishing in the middle of the day, so it's not ideal. About two o'clock. skinnier here a lot of white crappie here we can distinguish that by the dark bars that are on the uh, on the fish that is a white crappie good crappie right there good eater the guide service is going great just packed so if you're interested in guide service try uh, email me at three pound fishing at gmail.com for the summer July has a lot of availability of course it's gonna be hot so we're gonna start really early um, but we're gonna catch a ton of fish so. all right we got a double on the not bad. Eater fish. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I get a lot of get a lot of questions about my my seat, my casting seat. The uh, where'd you get it, etc. So first off, I'd say that I'd want a casting seat that has a lot of cushion. I think this one lacks a lot of cushion. It's, it has enough. It has enough cushion, but um, it could use some more. And uh, but I got it on Amazon Prime. I think it was 50, 60 bucks, something like that. Maybe maybe 40 bucks. And uh, if anybody knows of a cast a custom casting seat, people that make them, I'd love to get a custom one, really extra thick, and um, maybe even do a logo on it or something like that. Let me know. Comment below. There's a freaking crab slab right there. That's a good fish. Wow. 14 inch. Skinny man, they're hungry. Check them out. Great looking fish. 
So that was by far the biggest fish of the day so far, right? And this was on a very shallow structure. So Marcus makes the suggestion that we go try to find other shallow structure. And that's where we are here. Shallow is key apparently. We've gotten three dandies off this pile. Just turn the camera back on and big fish. Marcus just got done catching a 15 incher. Letting them go today, by the way. Don't need the fish. We don't keep the fish. Although Marcus wants fish fry, he just don't have time to clean them now. So we released every fish we kept. That's fun to figure it out. We're only fishing three, four foot down now in five foot of water, six foot of water. If you want big fish, that's what you had to do. Unbelievable. I give credit to Marcus. He's the one that says, let's go to this, let's go to this pile. We caught a big one over there in the shallow. He goes, well, it's shallow over there. I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> for a long time, folks. <laughs> So, big fish, definitely shallow. You can get a bunch of fish on the, on the stake beds, but we're fishing four or five foot of water right now. And uh, that's a solid 12 and a half or good fish. Maybe even a 13. Yeah, 12 and a half. 12 and a half, good fish. A lot of good fish here. A lot of good fish, a lot of fun. Oh man, another dandy. Marcus laid a hammer on that one. Look at that fish. That's cute. That's third, good. Third big fish of the day right there. That's a good fish. I think we had three dandies. Wow. Hold my phone. Third or fourth, I got two monitors over here saying it's fourth. Might be two third. Four third and five. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Look at this tank. Look at that tank. <laughs> that is a freaking hog. Wow, that is awesome. Let me just show you what we're fishing right here. That thing is totally full of fish. And a lot of big fish apparently. Really a good choice here. Only five foot of water, three foot down. Awesome. And I mean, we're talking, it's, well, it's 4.30 now, so we're getting towards the evening, but still, great time. Crab Orchard, check it out. Ooh. Thanks for watching another three-pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.